beautiful welcome back to my channel so today's look is a beautiful Hollywood glam look we are throwing it back to the 1920s I feel like what really makes this look is the cut crease technique that I use today as well as the red lips and the lashes it's just a beautiful all over a look that I have been doing for years it's classic it never goes out of style so if you all want to see how I get this beautiful Hollywood glam look then just keep watching so first things first, we are going to start off this look with our face. So as usual, we are um, priming the face with the Nivea for Men Post Shaving Balm. Now I'm going to mix these two foundations. The first one is the Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 105, and that's by L'Oreal. And the second is a, is a darker shade. It's in medium deep, and it's a BB Fresh, kind of like a BB cream, and it's by Maybelline. So I'm mixing those two together, and I'm going to put that on. On, um, just apply that onto the face and then I am going to use a kabuki brush and blend that out since we are not um, having a lot of fallout with this eye look I thought we should go ahead and just start with the face so that's what I usually like to do in my makeup routine now we are going in with our concealer and this is the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circles concealer and we are in the shade light pell just highlighting that and just going to start blending that out with my damp beauty blender. So let's go ahead and pick up the shade light palette by Kat Von D and we're taking that middle very light highlight shade on just on a fluffy brush and this is how we're going to prime the eyes and get them set for found for eyeshadow and then we're just going to highlight the rest of the areas that we did before now we're taking the it translucent powder and I am obsessed with this you all already know and we are just packing that underneath the eyes because this just helps give us um, a beautiful finish all day long with no creasing. And then we are gonna be going in with the Infallible Pro Matte Powder and I'm in the shade 200 just to add some warmth to the face. To the face. I'm brushing out the brows and we are going to start contouring with the Chocolate Soule. Um, this is by Too Faced and we are in the shade Medium Deep and it's a matte bronzer. And I'm going all the way back to where the tragus of the ear is and then I'm bringing that down towards the end of the cheekbone. Let's pick up the very light shade there in the palette and put that underneath the chin and the jawline just to make that a little bit more edged out. And now we are going to be contouring the nose and I am just picking up my Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. And as you can see, I'm really packing that into the crease as well, um, the inner crease there. And I just feel like for this look, it just gives us a head start for our cut crease that we are going to be doing today. Now I'm bringing that down as usual and I'm just going to contour the nose. Now we're picking up that vanilla shade again and we are highlighting the nose here and I like to do that with this powder and then just kind of blend it all out and I feel like this helps it the blending process to go so much better when I mix the two colors and I'm just moving circular motions with a fluffy brush. Now we're picking up the Naked 2 palette and we are going in with this beautiful shade and it's called Booty Call, so much fun. And I'm just using a flat brush and I'm highlighting the nose with that color. And now we're picking up the Shade Light palette one more time and we're picking the darkest color up and I used a nice angle brush for this. 
this blush is life and this is by milani it's called powder blush and it's in coral cove in the shade five and i'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks i thought a nice coral shade would go really well with this look so that's what i tried to do and i love a nice icy highlight not a not a warm tone highlight so that's why i decided to go with something more um, with this eyeshadow shade sometimes i choose to do eyeshadow shades for my highlight and it works so well and now we're just highlighting the cupid's bow there so now we're picking up the um, Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. And we are using the shade Combust for our transition shade. And we're in a fluffy brush here with the Sigma um, E40 brush. And we are just going to apply that all over the crease and above the crease as well. Just getting this ready for those darker colors. We're picking up the Naked 2 palette one more time, and I love this color, as you can see. Um, this color is called Tease, and it is the most perfect, like, perfect color for a look like this. Um, it's natural, it's not too dark, and it's a very cool tone, and I like that about this. That's why I've hit pan on this shade. I love it. Um, so we're keeping this very high for the cut crease. And now we are just going to just blend that out with a fluffy brush just to make sure we don't have a harsh line. We don't want any of that. And now we're picking up the Urban Decay Smoky Palette and we're using the shade Whiskey. And I'm just using a pencil brush. I believe this is the, let's see, Sigma E30 brush. And I'm applying that a little bit higher than my crease line. And as you can see, there's no blending that's happening here. I'm just really packing on that color. Now we are going in with the Morphe M562 brush and it's a very flimsy brush but it's tiny and it's perfect for little moments like this and I'm just making super circular motions there and blending out the, um, the harsh line that was on that crease. So we're keeping it high because we definitely want to create that cut crease so um, just try not to get any on the lid as much as possible. Now we are going in with the shade 13. And I love this shade. Um, this, just pack it on and kind of, don't really smear it on, but just kind of pack it up and down like you see me doing here. And that's how you're gonna get the most product out of this. That's whenever this product works the best. So when you're doing this technique, um, you can start to go back and forth like I'm doing here to create more of a sharp line. Um, just take your time with it and there's no rush with a cut crease. Now we're going back in with the shade Whiskey and I picked um, more of an, a nice defined angled brush. This is the Sigma E65 brush and we're just kind of defining that cut crease and making more of a harsher line. Um, I did get a little bit of fallout but don't worry, we can always clean it up. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going back in with my flat brush and I am just smoothing that out. Now we're going into the liner portion here and I like to use my favorite liner brush um, and it's a Sigma, it's a Sigma, um, Sigma brush and I am using the Maybelline Blackest Black Gel Liner, my favorite. And we are going to make this wing huge. I feel like this wing really makes the look. And if you weren't wearing fake lashes, the wing would be so much more noticeable. But um, the fake lashes, since they are so huge and dominant, which is amazing, um, the liner needs to be big as well because it can be looked over. And I really want the liner to be seen. So that's why we're going big. Go big or go home. And we're bringing that all the way to the inner um, to the inner corner. Um, so yeah, just take your time with your liner, and you can always clean it up. And just use fast strokes, and that's how you're going to get the cleanest the cleanest look for your liner. So 
So I went ahead and did the other eye off camera. Now we are going back in with the shade 13 from the Smoky Palette and we are just packing that on to the brow bone for our highlight. I love this shade because it's so matte and it's just soft and very feminine. So we are just highlighting the brow bone with that shade. We are going in with the mascara now. We are gonna prime those lashes for the falsies and we are back to the Rocket Volume Express by Maybelline. Um, I am still really ride or die for this mascara right now, even though I just bought a new one. I think I'm gonna use this one up. We are going in with the Ardell Double Up Falsies and it's um, 203 Black and I went ahead and popped those on. And we are just going to be putting the mascara and matching the um, lower lashes to the volume on those upper lashes. So I really wanted to um, create an intense lower lash. So that's what I tried to do here. I love this lipstick. It is the um, Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour. And it's in the shade, um, I think it's in the shade Red. I don't know, it doesn't say here, but it's it's a very red, red shade. And I used to use these all the time, and I'm just now getting back to it because I just realized how much I miss them. Um, this literally stayed all day after, this, after I filmed this. I am loving it. And if you overline, you can't tell, and I did overline a little bit. So yeah, ladies, if you're looking for a lip to overline with, definitely go with this. So that's what I'm doing here. You do have to let it dry just a little bit. Um, and then I added a little a mole there because I am a huge Marilyn fan and I thought, why not? So um, it took takes about two minutes for the lipstick to dry. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little warning and then you can go in with your second coat, which is the, just that clear gloss. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial and I hope to see you guys soon. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and yeah, I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.